Hey, what's up guys? Nick here. Um, today I have a different video for you guys. Um, I wanted to reintroduce the doodle bug to the channel. Now, a while ago, before I started uploading the CT200 UEX content, um, I uploaded one singular video of taking my predator swap doodle bug around my neighborhood. I didn't really promote it in any way. It's a very low view video on my channel. It's just, it's just kind of there. I did want to reintroduce it to the channel since Probably most of you have never seen it or haven't heard me talk about it. Maybe you've seen it in the background of videos and you were curious about it. So I'm going to talk about it. So basically this doodle bug was my first mini bike ever. Before this, I was never into mini bikes. I was honestly, I never gave them a second thought. The closest thing I got to uh, small engines was a drift trike I built with a couple of my buddies. That's about it. About late 2022, early 2023, this bike was given to me. One of my dad's friends had it in his uh, shed and my dad was helping him move some stuff asked about it called me up said hey do you want a free mini bike i was like i mean if it's free i don't care um so then he brought it to my house and it was a perfect rolling chassis all it needed was a engine a clutch and chain and it was good to go um but i let it sit in my basement for like the longest time up until alec got his massimo warrior or mb200 and he let me ride that thing and i said hey you know what i got a mini bike i can throw a motor on it we can go riding together and Basically, the rest is history. Um, I got sucked into the world of mini bikes, and what I'll show you guys is pretty much where I stopped um, up until I got the Coleman. It's still a work in progress. I mean, you're always tweaking something on the mini bikes, so let's go show you. So this isn't your average doodle bug. There's been a lot done to it. First and foremost, it doesn't have the three horse engine on it anymore. It is a 49 cc engine no i'm kidding it's a predator 212 hemi um this is what i had had at harbor freight and i picked it up um this is the original hemi that's been on it since i've had it in summer of 23 um this engine's probably got about 10 to 15 hours on it it's been through a couple of different configurations um right now it is billet rod built flywheel hot 265 cam 10,000 head gasket 22 millimeter nibby header pipe with an RLV muffler. And then this is like a $25 Amazon clutch. And this is tractor supply chain, 60 tooth sprocket, 12 tooth on the front. It's a five to one gear ratio. Um, runs pretty good. Uh, front end wise, I did put the Go Power Sports front suspension on it. Rides actually very well. I actually really like it. And then I went with the three inch risers with the XR50 Pro Tapers. Um, they're about the same height as the stock handlebars, which I have right here, but it's hard to kind of like show you guys the height. It's about the same. But I uh, threw a hydro brake on the rear. It's kind of leaking a little bit, but it's an Amazon brake. I've, I put some abuse on it. I didn't expect it to last that long, so. Um, and then I have Pro Taper pillow top grips, and then I have a Nibby throttle. This is the original kill switch. Um, and then I put Sun F street tires on it. I never had a plan to take this off road. It's just been my street bike. I take it up and down the street, take it through the neighborhood, and then people complain that it's loud. Um, the header pipe and the muffler do not help. The RLV muffler doesn't help. Maybe it cuts it down a little bit, but it does not make it any more quiet. So that was kind of just an overview of the bike kind of what I did with the good things I did to it, but there are a few bad things I've done to it that I kind of regret and I want to fix. Essentially, there's only really two bad things with this bike that I really want to fix. Numero uno is this bike was not made for, I, I would imagine 13 horse I'm throwing at it right now when it was designed for three. There are these tabs here that are supposed to be welded to the frame that mount this motor plate to the frame and they broke off. So that needs to be rewelded. Number two, I drilled the engine plate and that's actually loose, so I should probably tighten that. I drilled the engine plate for this engine because obviously the three horse bolt pattern is a lot different from the six and a half horse. So eventually I do want to replace this with a, an adjustable engine plate so I can get more adjustment with the chain. Because right now I don't have that much adjustment. That's about as tight as it's getting right now. So 
that's another thing I do want to fix. So I actually have parts coming in for this bike that I'm going to use to revamp it. Um, some of them are here, some of them aren't here yet, but later on I do want to show you guys all in one sitting what they are and how I'm pretty much going to improve the bike. So just real quick, I wanted to show you guys some of the parts I've accumulated for what I'm dubbing the Doodlebug Revival, kind of just to improve the quality of life and just make the bike perform better. One of the biggest pieces to this Doodlebug Revival are these stretch tabs. These are from Mini Bike Larry. These are laser cut uh, stretch tabs and they also accept a big brake. Um, this will stretch the bike six inches and lower it two inches. So it'll, it'll give it a really nice look and it'll also make the bike more stable at high speeds. The company, the stretch tabs, I got this big brake. This is a much larger single piston brake caliper than what I have on it now. Um, it's for like an ATV, for like a 125cc ATV, but this bolts directly up to the uh, stretch tab. So I got it for like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, I also got this longer brake cable just for the to make up for the extra stretch. So this will have some very nice stopping power. So I'm excited for that. Was my uh, modified engine plate. So you can buy these on Amazon. They're about 30 bucks. So the Doodlebug came with a what, under 100 cc engine that has the small bolt pattern like this. So this part bolts to your actual engine plate, and then you'll have bolts come up through here. And this will bolt to your actual engine so you can have forward and back and side to side adjustability and it gives you a much more free range of motion for your uh, chain adjustment and lining up your sprockets um, what i did originally as i mentioned before was i just drilled the holes for the uh, engine and i kind of guessed so i don't have the best i don't have any adjustment for the chain i have it just tight enough it's actually pretty loose and sometimes it does pop off so this will very definitely help me out and last but not least, I'm actually getting rid of the pro tapers and I'm throwing on these 15 inch amp hangers from Go Power Sports along with the 7 8 mounts. Um, I'm not a big fan of the handlebar height on the stock handlebars and the pro tapers, the same thing. They're about the same height as the stock bars. And at full lock, when I'm turning, it actually, handlebar actually smacks my knee. So this will actually clear my knee and it'll actually look pretty awesome. With the 15 inch i have to get these bars powder coated i'm not too sure what color i'm going to go with yet but um, these will look really good and i'll be happy with the leg clearance what you guys know i have to do a proper zero to 30 top speed run on this bike since it's never been done on the channel before and i want to see where it stacks up with the coleman to see if it's actually faster or not it feels faster but i think it's just because it's small and it's sketchy so this bike was sitting for a little while um clean out the carburetor a little bit it wasn't really wasn't really dirty surprisingly gas is still good um i remember the last time it was running a little lean on the idle and on the main jet so i bumped those up to where it should be and hopefully it runs okay um the, i got the idle down pretty good hopefully i do not uh make this thing start to spit at high rpm with the main jet it's at a 135 at my elevation it's uh seems about right so i'm just gonna kind of send it um other than that, let's just get on this thing, get some heat in it, and let's uh, go run our tests. I'm scared. Zero thirty doodle bug predator two twelve swap test one. I 
thing was shaky. I think it's because the motor mount's not being welded. 6.1 seconds. It's, yeah, it's, uh, that clutch is, I need a new clutch. That clutch is shot. Let me just run it back to see if we get anything similar. 0 30, doodle bug for 212 swap, run two. Tell you what, this clutch sucks, but when that thing gets going, it's going. Shit. 6.7 seconds, yeah. It's I need to do a new clutch. It, it, this thing's shot at this point. <laughs> Top speed run, doodle bug, predator 212 swap. Run one and the only run I'm ever gonna do because the spike sketches me out. Yeah, it's spitting. It needs a smaller jet, or the plugs filed, one of the two. 50.5. Um, definitely has a lot more in it, because I've hit 55 with this thing, so. Um, yeah, it's been sitting for a long time. I need to go through the carb. I need to probably change the spark plug. But still respectable, just pulling it out of the garage and putting some new gas in it and letting it rip. So, I'm happy. So I did 50.5 miles an hour on the top speed run, and I did 0 to 30 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Um, it's got a lot more in it. It's evident it needs maintenance. It's got a fouled plug. Running too rich up top. Um, needs a new clutch. That clutch is shot. I ran the thing dry when I first got it, so I didn't know he needed a lube it. You know, there's rookie mistakes I'm making here. And obviously it needs those tabs rewelded on that um, engine plate because it is shaking like a mother. I'm not disappointed in it. I've, I figured it wasn't going to run as good as it did when I wrote it last. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Please leave a like and a comment. What's your favorite small bike? Mine happens to be the Doodlebug. Uh, Motovox is a really close second, though. I do eventually want to get one and do a build on that. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and click the notification bell to get notified for my next video. Appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. Till next time, guys. Peace.